Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd. The truth is one and the truth is self-evident and the truth is based upon the Qur'an and it's based upon the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and the methodology or minhaj of the salaf wa salim meaning the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said خَيْرَ النَّاسِ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said is the best people are those people of my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them so even though you have groups and sects now that came later, like the Rafa the Shia, they are a group who are even non-Muslim. We can't even refer to them as Muslim. Why? Because they base their creed on the infallibility of their imams. And they base their creed on saying that Jibreel والسلام, made a mistake in giving the message of Nabawa to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they base their creed on saying that in their claims that the Quran is contradicts itself or that is incomplete. And that only their Imams have completed the Quran. This is Kufr Sarih. We don't have to debate. We don't have to look at uh, analyze too much. We don't have to be critical in our analysis of what they're saying. It's kufr sarih. It's open disbelief in Allah and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After that, you're not a, a believer in Islam, so accept that and call yourself Rafida, and that's your religion. But then, what about those other groups like the Ahbash of Ethiopia, the Habashi sect, that you'll find them in Lebanon, you'll find them in Ethiopia as their leader, Abdullah Herari. He is originally from Herer, a province in Ethiopia, and migrated to Ethiopia. He studied with many Sufi sheikhs, and he was of many Turk of the Sufia. And this is, you find it in his Sira, and I've already made clear, uh, clarified this in other uh, sittings. And so you'll find that Abdullah Herer, Hereri, and his group, which doesn't go back to the Quran, doesn't go back to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and definitely doesn't go back to the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. Instead they have a new afkar. Because that's why you say that their leader of their group is from this time. But we don't need new leaders of groups. We don't need new groups because new groups because the haq is one. The truth is one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al kareem Wa anna hadha sarati mustaqeemin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and verily this, uh, and verily this is my straight path. So follow it, and follow not other paths, for they will separate you away from his path. This he has ordained for you, that you may become pious. So that if you want to become pious, God-fearing, fearing the commands of Allah, holding on to what Allah has commanded you to, staying away from His prohibitions, the way to attain that is by not dividing into groups and sects, not calling yourself Jamaat al-Ahbash, not calling yourself Rafidi, not calling yourself Shi'i, not calling yourself Sufi, not calling yourself Tabliki, not calling yourself Khani, not calling yourself Takfiri, or any other uh, laqab that you see fit to go away from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, to go away from those Al-Qab, those names and references that we find in the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Allah said, call yourself Muslim. And the Prophet referred to the Muslim Ummah as the Firqa Tanajiyah as well, the successful sect. He uh, referred, we also find in the Nasus many other uh, names in reference to Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Ahlul Sunnah, there's no problem calling yourself Ahlul Sunnah. Saying that you adhere to the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. So if we want success, we have to adhere to what Allah, Allah subhanahu wa taala, straight path. Allah has, has, has made this path for us. He's made it. He said, "Wala tafarraku." Qala subhana, "Wa inna hadi sirati mustaqimin fatabiyu fa, fa wala tabiyu subul." And do not follow the different paths. Fatafarraku on on. Uh, فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ And they divided into other sects from his path. Allah's path is straight. It's clear. 
and it's made clear by the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sheikh Salim bin Fozan, Hafizullah Taala, he mentions about this ayat. He said, "Siratullah, who are the ba'atha ba'atha Allahu bihi Rasuluhu sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa sara alaihi sahabatuhu al kiram wa al qurun al mufaddala wa man aktafa atharahum min al mutaakhiri hadi al umma ila an tukum al saa. ذلك هو سرات الله. أما ما خالف هذا السرات واختلف عنه فإنه سبل. Sheikh Salim bin Fozan, Hafid Allah Taala said, "Sirat Allah." He said, "The path of Allah. It is what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent with, and what he, what his companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, were." Uh, they they stayed upon. This is what they preserved. This is what they were upon. Radi Allah Taala Anhu Majmaeen, and the first three benef- uh, uh, um, the first three generations, Qurun Mufaddala, those generations that were the uh, the best of generations, and then those who followed on their path from the later generations of this Ummah. The Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, meaning the Muslims, until the Day of Judgment. Meaning, Ahl Sunnah will always be present. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in an authentic hadith, he said, "La tazal taifatu min ummati zahirin al haq hatta tukum al saa." Or, كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said, "There won't cease to be a group from amongst my Ummah that continues to be on the straight path until the Day of Judgment." So, until the Day of Judgment, there will always be. There, there, there will always be until those signs, until the last times, up until the day of judgment. You'll find Ahl Sunnah. You'll find those people holding fast to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the manhaj or the methodology of the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين. You'll always find that until the day of judgment. And that's the path of Allah. And as for those who differ with this path, then they're the ones who are following the subul, as the as Allah subhanahu wa taala says. فَتَفَرَقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ and they they divided from his uh, divided themselves from his path from the سبيل الله هذا سرات الله هذا هذا سبيل الله that's that's Allah subhanahu wa taala's path and so we cannot divide ourselves and divide ourselves into groups and sects and go with unauthorized unsubstantiated practices. And consider that Islam. That's why, for example, Islam rejects terrorism. That's why Islam rejects extremism. That's why Islam ex- rejects extremism in worship, like those people who make uh, celebrate the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's birthday, and they worship the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they say, "No, we don't worship him. We just make du'a to him. We just supplicate to him." But the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam him said said iyakum al ghulu say you know beware of extremism and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said don't honor me like the 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 Christians did with Jesus alayhi salatu wasallam the son of Mary Miriam the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned us against this sallallahu alaihi wasallam but yet our ummah has fallen into that shirk the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said said, said uh, let Tabiuna Sunan and Kana Kablakum. He said, You will follow the way of those people who came before you. He said, Even if they followed the whole of a lizard, you would follow it. And then the companions, Radi Allah Tanahu Majmain, they asked, Who are they, Ya Messenger of Allah? Or he or they said, uh, the Jews and the Christians? O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by saying, "For men, who else?" So we would follow other nations. How do we follow them? We follow them in their customs. We follow them in their dress. We make up birthday celebrations. Celebrate the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All these are ways in which we follow those people who came before us, who have unsubstantiated and un uh, illegitimate Islamic uh, Ill- illegitimate practices in accordance with Islam. They are not following Islam. Have a lace of Allah. That's not the, the the path of Allah. That's not the minhaj of Allah. That's not the methodology of Allah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent His prophets, alayhim salatu wa salam, with the, the 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 message of calling the people to the worship of Allah alone, not committing shirk, not supplicating to the dead. Even if he was a righteous person, we don't supplicate to him. 
We don't supplicate to Jesus. We don't supplicate to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or Jesus alayhi salatu wasallam or Adam alayhi salatu wasallam who was the father of all mankind. We don't supplicate to Moses alayhi salatu wasallam. We don't supplicate to the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu wasallam. We don't supplicate to any of them. So how is it we can supplicate to Abdul Qadir al Jailani? How is it we could supplicate to uh, Abdullah bin Harari? How is it we can supplicate to Tijani? How is it we can take all these other paths that the, that the Naqshbandis take or the Diobandis take? Or this one takes or that one takes. We can't. Nor can we worship anyone except Allah. The Prophet wasallam said, A dua hu ibadah. This is in Sahih Tirmidhi. That dua, supplication is ibadah. Supplication is worship. So that means when you supplicate, it is worship. So I don't care what your shirk, your shaykh says. Shaykh Nazim, Shaykh so-and-so, Shaykh this one, Shaykh that one. If they're telling you you can supplicate to the dead because the dead are really alive. Or they're the shuhada. Or this then know that they're on falsehood because the Prophet ﷺ who spoke not from his desires Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi said A dua huwa ibadah Supplication is worship But they'll say no it's not worship We're just asking them to intercede for us And this was the same argument that the pagans of Quraysh they made the same argument So we have to look at what we're dealing with brothers and sisters and what kind of dawah is being spread and if you're in a position to call the people back to the worship of Allah alone, then do so, please. Wherever it may be, whether it be in Ethiopia, whether it be in Japan, whether it be in Seattle, Washington, whether it be in uh, the UK, whether it be in Pakistan, whether it be in Bangladesh, wherever you may be, call the people to the Kalimat Allah. Call them to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's the only one worthy of worship. And to be upon the Subul Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولَ لِنِعْبُدُ اللَّهِ وَجْتَنِبُ تَعْقُوهُ And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and stay away from those things worshipped besides Allah. That's what the Taqood is. You know? So when you worship your shaykh, especially if he was pleased with you worshipping him and supplicating to him and seeking intercession from him, then he is Taqood. If you worship the elephant, if you worship a statue, if you worship idols, if you worship uh, whatever you worship, the Nike god, this one, that one, the, 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 the gods of mythology, of Greek mythology, whatever you worship, if, it, if you're not worshiping the law, then it's false. There is nothing worthy of worship except the law. So that lets us know that there are other things that are worshipped besides the law. Yes, we... we uh, we understand that as Muslims but as a Muslim we say there is nothing no one worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from the harm of the shayateen from the jinn and the men and may Allah wa ta'ala bless us to be khalis and li wajihil kareem wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad